Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on adjust process scheduling. So the first thing to discuss, what is process scheduling? So within uh, Linux there is a, a scheduler which is part of the kernel and it decides which runnable processes will be executed by the CPU next. The Linux scheduler offers three different scheduling policies. Uh, one for normal processes and two for real-time applications. So there is scheduled other, which is the default universal time sharing scheduler policy used by most processes. Scheduled FIFO or scheduled RR or round robin, intended for special time critical applications that need precise control over the way in which vulnerable processes are selected for execution. And then scheduled batch, uh, batch inst intended for batch style execution of processes. So one of the key differences between FIFO and uh, round robin is FIFO will be first in first out, so we, for real time processes, and round robin it will literally do a round robin, so it will you know, just keep going one by one by one. So it's almost it's very, very similar to be honest, with just a slightly different way it schedules. So um, the way it's managed is an application called CHRT. So in the previous video, we talked about the NICE application, and that's a, a historic application, which is or utility that's used in the early days of batch computing to be nice to each other um, and give up some CPU time. It's obviously still in use as, as the video showed. The only uh, the only thing it really with regards to the nice application is it only applies to that scheduler other, as I mentioned earlier. So if you've got anything outside of that, it won't really have any effects. It's only stuff that's in the scheduled other um, scheduler. So you use that CHRT tool to actually change the policy, uh, scheduling policy. You can run it, do it. You can do it at runtime, or you can do it while it's already running. So to do that, we let's go and jump in to the terminal, and let's just do a sudo bash because most of these commands, because you're doing sync with the system scheduler. Uh, will probably will uh, most likely need root. Okay, so the first thing, let's just get a, a safe PID or uh, process ID to uh, use. I use sync on the virtual box application. If I break that, wouldn't be too bad. I can always reinstall it. Okay, so that's my PID. So let's just copy that. Cool. So first thing, chrt minus p for PID, and then give the PID number. So we can see the current scheduling policy, schedule other, and the current scheduling policy. So we can actually list out all the scheduling policies with minus m, and that will give the scheduling policies it's got. Other, FIFO, RR, batch, idle and deadline. We don't really need to worry about those two, but just those main four. And as I mentioned, FIFO and R are pretty similar. And here are the max, minimum and maximum priorities. So we can see at the moment we've scheduled other, and we've got the priority of zero because we don't, don't really have any other choice. It's only for FIFO and uh, round robin that we actually have a priority. We can set a pro uh, we can change the priority, but we won't do it in this one because we can't change the priority in here. So let's. To, let's change this to a schedule batch first. So chrt minus b for batch minus p for the PID. And for batch, you really only have priority of zero and the PID. Now, if we do a minus m, sorry not minus M, let's do a minus P with the PID number. We can see now it's scheduled batch and its priority is zero. Cool, I'll just show you what happens if I try to set a priority that's not available in the policy. We'll get an error message saying it's it's not, uh, it's unsupported priority value. 
Okay, if I just do a clear here, let's clean that up. Okay, so let's do a scheduled FIFO or first in first out. So CHRT minus F minus P and then the priority. So we've got up to 99 in this case because it's so let's just set 50 and then the process ID. And now if we just do the same again, we can see it's FIFO and priority of 50. Let's do uh, the real time one, or oh, sorry, the RR, which is the round robin, and that's weirdly enough is R. And again, we can set a priority up to 99 for this one, so let's just set 88, doesn't really matter. And again, minus P, schedule RR, okay. And then finally, we want to set the schedule other, so schedule other for O for other and then priority zero and enter let's get you over so that pretty much covers it um, there's not really too much to it it's just you may want to read up more on um, the CHRT commands obviously again the usual there's the man CHRT which is uh, obviously quite good and there's info CHRT as well it's quite nice so it gives you again it's just real time as you process there's not that much to it it's pretty simple um it's just got to use caution with uh this sort of thing because obviously you're changing um kernel side policies so it's only it's a real time changes so you could just affect your system so um play obviously on a vm it's absolutely fine to play with but in production i probably wouldn't do that <laughs> unless you know what you're doing uh, so yeah that really uh, is the end of the video uh, thanks again for watching like subscribe um, hit the notification bell if you don't mind any questions drop a comment um, under the video any comments are they're welcome thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video thank you